Finally, the Tesla Model Y behind me is getting its taillight upgraded to Alpharet sequential taillight. So stay tuned. So welcome back to yet another DIY video featuring my brother Andrew and it's Tesla Model Y. Now today, he's gonna to go ahead and upgrade the tail lights on the Tesla Model Y to these Alpharex sequential tail lamps. All right, so he's going ahead and um, jump into the installation. Basically what he's doing right now, he's kind of like marking out these little stuff right here. You want your marker out, I suggest you guys take a picture or something like that. Cause you want to make sure you put this back the same way you, it, it is now. Cause if you don't, the trunk is not going to look properly. So you have to make sure that these two, this, these two right here, this, this in the exact way it came from the back. Alright? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the installation right now. First thing you do, after you mark everything out, you, you take off this panel here, the one towards the front. This one has to come off first and then you'll be able to take off the back piece. So now all you have to do is use a pry tool, pry this piece down in, and you can just use your hand after that. And it's, all, so it's all clip. Okay guys, after taking off the back panel, the next step will be take off these two clips on the side here. And I have two of one on the right and one on the left side in the trunk. Okay guys, so the next step after you take off the front panel right here is to take this out. It's going to have to use a pry tool. I already started as you can see, but all you do is use a pry tool. It's going to be up to go right in between it. You start from the towards the front first and work your way towards the back. You never start, don't ever start in the middle. You work your way back. So you pry it down and then just pull it down. You will, you will have to pull a little bit of force on it, not too much. See, you don't want to pull too much and then end up pulling and, break, and, and breaking it because it's wired behind it. Okay guys, it was kind of a lot of, it was a lot of work, but I finally got it. All right now, so when you finally take it out, this how the back piece is gonna be. You will have to make sure that you hit all these clips. Take it out, even the, the, these pieces. This piece here is so it's a little bit hard to get to. You might have to like pull it down and stick your hand in it to go in the middle and try to put pressure only in here. You don't want to be pulling it out here and then you end up breaking it. Make sure that you take out this piece here, this wire. You just press this piece in. See this? You just push it in. And then you just pull it back out. Right, so the next step I will do, you need an eight millimeter socket with like an extension. I'm using a drill. It's not recommended. You guys do whatever you want. At the end of the day, you want to do it by hand, but I'm doing it by drill. It's a little bit faster for me. But all you need is a there's a wrench and an eight millimeter socket and an extension to get up in here to unscrew this. It's eight millimeter screw right here. But first, before you do that, just make sure you unplug the wire for the tail light itself. So this orange piece right here, just gotta push down on it, down towards you. You hear that pop, that means it's, it's loose and you should be able to just pull it right out, just like so. like so make sure you put these screws away the so next step after your screws, screws out and the next step is to take out the light see you, you use a pry tool it's best to help you just stick it right in between here and go 
going with it. Make sure you be very careful. Go, 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 go slow. You loosen it up. And then you should be able to, it should be able to pop right out by holding back in. Just pull up. You're using the pry tool as a support so you do not break the light. Just work it. Pull out again. Go, go to the bottom. Hope it pop right out. That's it. The light should come right out. Right after that, it sucks up. Okay, guys. So the next step is to put on, you want to take this out, you put on the new lights. This is the Alphrax light, so make sure first the snake the wire through the, the hole. It goes in. Line it up nice and neat. This side should pop right in. So like one, two. It is to pull back your eight millimeter screw once you pop the light in, just do a hand first. After you screw that in, make sure it's nice and tight by hand. And all you have to do is plug the light back in. So I'm gonna tuck it right back in there. Tuck it in. I should do it. All right, guys. Now for the lights, for the other tail, for the the body of the car. We just finished one for the trunk. This is the body of the car. So the first thing you want to do is pop these, uh, pop this black rubber piece out. So just use your pry tool. You should be able to pop it right up. Put this to the side. And the next step will be for you to pull these out. Okay, guys, so y'all just make sure for you to get nice to the back, just pop and take off the, the weather stripping. You pop your pulses this back a little bit, but be careful. And just stick your hand inside. You're gonna see the wire for the light. Same clip with the orange piece. So I see if you can pop it right out. So now the wire is out. Once you you take out the light behind it, there's two screws you have to unscrew. They're both um eight millimeter. Screw so just you use like an eight millimeter wrench and unscrew them. Once you unscrew it, the light should be able to come free. All right, guys. So these are the two screws I um, um I took from the back of the light. And the next step is to just put it out. But be very careful. Let me show you guys. The tail light here. See this piece that's underneath the charger. Make sure you open the charger, the charger port. So you don't you do not want to break this because if you break this piece, now you gotta replace the whole light. So, and then when you're done now, you just hold it on each side. You should be able to just work your way out. You see how this come out? Once you go like this, it will break that piece over there. So all you have to do is work it out. Now this is the Alpha Rex light on the install on. Make sure that you stick this screw in first. Make sure all the holes, make sure these pins line up with the holes on the, the body of the car. Okay, it should snap right in. Next step is to put the light on. So just put the two screws back in. Once you do that, then after that, you just you, you just plug the light in, and that will be it. The lights are in. The lights is in. I screw the screw in in the back. 
So all you gotta do basically just do what you did before, just do everything in reverse and I can put this back, the black piece back on, or some dumb guy that I put the, the water strip back on and that's it. I already put this body piece in already. So this is in order to put the strip on it. Black piece, that's it. I just finished the, the job of side tail light. Now I have to do the patches inside, but first I'm going inside and I'm gonna turn the light on. My sister's gonna record and she's gonna show you guys the difference between the, the factory tail light and the aftermarket tail light from Alpha X. Turn on the auto side indicator. See, so this is a steady blink. And the pass the driver's side is sequential. And as you can see, guys, it's smoked out, so it's a little bit darker on this side comparing to this side. So the back looks way more aggressive. Okay, guys, so that completes the installation for the Alpharex rear tail light turn signal sequential LED. Anyways, guys, I will be leaving all the information in the description box below where you can purchase this unit for your Tesla Model Y. I want to give a big shout out to my brother, Andrew, for helping me bring content to the channel so I can keep you guys in tune. Also, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much again for staying with me. All right, peace. I'm out.